So I just realized that in a weird way, our dumb copyright laws are coming full circle. Because the original conception of copyright was that you wouldn't have it for your entire lifetime. Eventually, other people would be able to use that intellectual property, and if they did it better than you, you would have to compete with them. But there was also this assumption that that competition was good. It would push both parties to make better stuff. And then Disney came and fucked everything up. But now we've entered an age of cross-licensing. Massive IP holders have realized that there's a cap to their outreach, and one of the easiest ways to extend that outreach is to license their properties for crossovers. We've seen this pretty notably with Sony and Marvel in the MCU. Disney owns Marvel, but Sony owns the movie rights for Spider-Man. And through cross-licensing deals, we're getting to see both of them make Spider-Man properties. Which means, much like the original conception of copyright, they are competing, but also boosting each other. And what movies did we get out of this competition? Into the Spider-Verse at No Way Home! And the way this is shaking out legally is Sony has the rights to their versions of Spider-Man, and Disney has the rights to Marvel's versions of Spider-Man. Which, hilariously, is really similar to the original conception of copyright. The creator owns their versions, but other people can make their own versions. Of course, it's not quite the same because it's not public domain. I can't make a movie about Spider-Man. But isn't it weird how we've come full circle into the original benefits of a limited copyright? It's almost as if big corporations have decided that they want to take all the benefits for themselves and keep it closed off to the common creator. Well, I just made myself sad.